And this is the BBC television service. Hi, this is Trev and Simon. I'm and Trev. I'm Simon. No, that's the wrong no. way around. Anyway, you, I'm, hello, we're Trev and Simon. And uh, you're listening to Attack, Attack of, of the, the 50 Foot Nerds podcast. <laughs> She is my wife, I was adopted, what? I thought my pee was good. Turns out they were right about me, so I used my severed finger on my bucket of pig's blood to summon my demonic milk float, which runs them all over. <laughs> <laughs> They came like a bolt out of the blue to discuss everything in geekdom. The Popcast Network proudly presents the attack of the 50 foot nerds. Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Attack of the 50 Foot Nerds podcast. My name is Mike Bell and joining me as usual are my regular co-hosts... John Cena! And... <laughs> Hello, I'm Will Wheaton. Welcome to Tabletop. Okay, I'm joined by uh, Yorkshire John Cena and for some reason Question Time Will Wheaton. Uh, also known as Andy Weirs and Paul Griggs. And we are, as I say, playing a very special episode today because we are playing a 50 Foot Nerds tabletop episode. Um, we are going to play the game uh, Bucket of Doom. Bucket of Doom. Mm-hmm. Bucket of Doom! Uh, I'll just Doom. clarify for those of you listening. Um, we're actually playing with myself, Andy and Paul, all in the same room. We are Holy not alone. crap! We are not alone, though, because we are joined in this game by Paul's wife, Kath. And his daughter Simone, who will not be partaking in the game at this time. She's just here, just so you know. Now, the aim of the game is uh, someone is reading the uh, the Doom cards, which is an event, uh, a situation that we have to try and get out of. We have a hand of eight object cards, and using those object cards, we need to try and uh, decide how we would use those to escape our predicament. Um, so, for example, the, the example they've given in the rules is you're on a, a walking safari. Oh no, will the beast stampede? Luckily, one of the object cards is fart in a jar. You decide to use this to blast yourself into the air and levitate there until the wildebeest have passed beneath you. Now, you can use more than one object at a time in what they call the MacGyver rule, so you can escape using two paper clips and a pencil if you can justify how. Okay, hope that all makes sense. It's the first of three in the game, so who's reading the Doom scenario? Shall I do the first yep. one then? Okay. You're ice fishing on a frozen lake when you fall through the hole and the ice refreezes above you. (laughs) Golly. Jeez Louise. Um, uh, (laughs) Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm done, I'm, I'm done. ready. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <coughs> I'm, I'm not. Okay, <laughs> just just, just start. Andy. I was going to no, say... No, no, just... we've got to wait for you. Do we have to wait? Do we? Um, yeah, we don't want to read our objects until he's read it. Simone, are you choosing the winner then? Shrugging your shoulders doesn't work on audio. <laughs> yeah? Yes, okay, right, Simone, so... Simone is going to choose the winner of the game. Then. Okay, sure. I've, I've got mine. It's fine. Okay, okay, so who, 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 who... Can I go first, because mine's still good. Okay, Kat's okay. go first. Kat's going to go first. first. Right, I'm Are you drawing the card? Do you still... Yes. Right, okay. okay. Right, I'm going to do the MacGyver thingy me jig. So, I... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Not that one. <laughs> Starting off well. Yeah. Right. I have... Oh, MacGyver. Oh, Should I read all the things out first and then justify them? Okay, yes, yeah. Right, okay. I have a Ladbrokes pad and a Bretting slip. Henry the Hoover... And sheepy. Okay, so how are you going to use those to escape from the frozen right, so fish hole? So I'm underneath hole. the frozen fish hole mm-hmm. in the water. I saw the frozen above me. So I use my lad books, pen and bet and slip to draw a target on the ice above me. Okay. And because it's ice, the 
paper sticks, so that's how I draw on okay. it. I then take the nozzle of Henry the Hoover. Nozzle. Okay, and then because I've been holding my Wii for ages, <laughs> so it's really warm, I aim the nozzle from underneath me up to the ice hole, P goes up the sheet, melts the ice because it's really warm, and I escape. Okay. Huh. Okay, right. That's, right. that's okay. <laughs> okay, Andy? Well, basically, I've fallen in, and I need to keep warm, so I've decided to put on a mink fur coat. I know, it'll, uh, but I, the good thing is, I'm a good swimmer. <laughs> I need to have it with you underwater. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm a good swimmer. But then, um, I'm looking for sharp objects, and I realise I have both a rusty sheriff's badge and an international plug adapter. So, using both one of those in each hand, I pick away at the ice, and eventually get through. Okay. Okay, um, but I'm nice and warm during it, so yeah. I won't freeze to death. Okay. <laughs> I fall through the ice, and I'm trapped, and I remember that I will be able to escape due to my bachelor's degree in drama. What? I remember that <laughs> I spent a whole term working uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in mime, and I mime <laughs> the facility to cut a hole in the ice and escape through the mimed hole. Okay, so you've got a potential hole, but no actual hole. <laughs> I escaped through, as, uh, through the power of mine. Okay, well for mine, I'm using MacGyver set technique as well. I am using a radio-controlled toy drone, and also the Fatty Patty inflatable blow-up doll, <laughs> female. Um, I will use the radio-controlled toy drone to hover over... It's actually outside at this point. It's hovering over the hole in the ice. And uh, the downdraft from the toy drone will begin to melt the ice. Mm -hmm. Then the Fatty Patty inflatable blow up doll will inflate and the buoyancy will lift me up and out of the hole. <laughs> okay, so Simone, which of the chosen techniques do you think wins that round? Mums. Your mums, okay. You. So that's I one get nail to cap. I thought my pee was good. <laughs> My wife, my, wi my wife, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, how many? So we need to draw back up, yeah? Okay. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. I might go black this time. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> black cards have a better chance of white cards than this game. <laughs> okay. That's what they say, isn't it? Yeah. Number two. Why are you getting to read it again? Well, why not? What does it say? Uh, it, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, then. So. Ugh! You wake up in a dank alley. Ugh! Both, you, both your kidneys have been stolen. What's new? <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, right. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, you can't cross black and white. No, not in this of. game. You can't use black cards and white cards. Sort Damn it. Um... Ah, oh, hmm. Ah, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. Do you need kidneys holding important? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Well, I've already used You can without them, but ideally you need them. Well, I've already used them with you... my pee on the ice. <laughs> it's very... T no, I, I don't think this is the next day. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Okay, I'm sorry, Simone. But I'm, I'm just going to do with that one. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to use... Oh, no, I'm going to change that the same one. later. That one. Uh, that one. Have you got them face down okay. or face up? I don't it doesn't really matter, does it? No. Um. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Ye yes. I'm ready. Yes. Okay, um, right, so we started with you last time, yeah. so we'll start with Andy this time. Okay, so it turns out they weren't stolen, I accidentally left them in Lindsay Lohan's handbag. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, the, the good thing is, I do have a ball of elastic band, so I'll use that to fit my kidneys back in, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, this particular dank alley is round the back, luckily, of a hospital. Oh. And I go rooting around and find a bag of hospital biomedical waste. Biomechanical. <laughs> biomechanical. Biomedical waste. In, in, in which I find Welcome to some HR replacement Geekers kidneys. Hey. Um, now, uh, as, I, as I shove the new kidneys in, uh, I use a scarf knitted by my nan to... to <laughs> 
to pack <laughs> stuff in. And then uh, just to make everything fully secure and tie everything up, I, I just happen to have a mankini on me that I use. So I, I do I, know I, you own one. <laughs> yes, quite. So, uh, so there we go. Okay, well for mine, first of all I'm going to use my Polaroid camera to take a photo of my back, showing the, the wounds in my back. I will then write a message in a bottle, letting a passerby know what has happened to me. Just and then, throw the bottle at them. And then <laughs> I'm going to uh, just drink a four pack of special and go brew and get smashed out of my face until I'm helped. Because you may have no kidneys, but you still have a liver. I still got to get pissed. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, well, well. So I have no kidneys, however, but I do have a copy of a late seventies edition of Playboy. And a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey, so quite frankly, I'm going to enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy myself and I don't need my kidneys. <laughs> I'm a strong, independent woman and I don't need no kidneys. Yeah. Still got hands, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Whose hands are just pulling over? Simone? Uh, Simone? Andy's. Andy's. Oh, yeah. Andy's. Yeah. Andy gets a point. Okie dokie. So let's draw back up again. For me, top. I'll have that one then. Oh, why didn't I have this before? Three. Okay. It's and our next scenario. <laughs> what the hell is that? Mike, this sounds a lot like you actually. You've been browsing animal porn again yeah. and <laughs> haven't deleted it. Just borrowing your iPad, shouts your mum. Oh, right, so uh, How do you get out of that? Um... <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, oh, easy. Right, okay. Okay. Dude, I literally just need one card for this. Yeah, me too. I've got two for it. Okay. Um, and... Okay, I'll go with that one. So how do I stop my mum from borrowing my iPad? With your animal porn on it. Easy. Dad's dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. Fair enough. I take after him in that way. <laughs> What, taking pictures yeah. of your penis? Yeah, plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do I stop? Well, I don't stop Mum borrowing my iPad. I shout, Mum, if you're going to borrow it, you need to use the Gimp Master the Gag Ball. <laughs> okay. Basically, um, as she yells that, I get on the phone to the police to, uh, to get them into the house, where I have sneakily planted in my mother's room both Rolf Harris's rob wobble board and Gary <laughs> Glitter's desktop PC. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, mum gets thrown in jail, and I don't in prison, and I don't have to worry about her borrowing my iPad anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I go, okay, mum, here's the iPad. Oh, in the meantime, would you like a, a, a Werther's Original from my bag of Werther's Originals, thus distracting her while I sneakily delete my browsing history? Just seems the most considerate. <laughs> <laughs> Simone? And these. And oh, yeah, and these another point. Whoa. Need one card this time. Yeah, go on. No one wants to lose that card. I love that. Those two. Oh, well, that's a shame because the other side's really awesome. <laughs> Hello from the other side. Are we ready? Yes. Yep. It's the Middle Ages. You're being burnt at the stake for having a wart on your nose. Okay. Get out of that. <laughs> being burnt at the stake. I think I've gone for this before, but I must have used it. Mm. Aha! Okay. Easy. So yeah. I've, I'm just going to use one. Yeah, I'm going to use them one myself. I've got three again. Mm. I like MacGyvering things. You like MacGyvering? Yeah. Yes, I'm done. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, my turn to go first this time. Yeah. Uh, so we're a bit. I'm being burnt tonight. Is it? Yeah. Because yeah. we skipped first. you last time. Because we, we should have been poor last time, and you went first. Oh, right. I do apologise. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm being burnt at the stake. I just happen to have a loaf of bread on me as well. So uh, I, I managed to. Hang on. Uh, no, no, that's not an item. You can't. You can't just say you've got a loaf of bread unless yeah. you've got a card. Uh, unless your card says well, you have a loaf of bread. Yeah. This is, tough, this is. This is. I'm getting to that. Okay. I I, I utilise the toast uh, the, the the bread to be toasted, uh, to create a a toast with the face of the Virgin Mary, right. and uh, creating a a a Christian miracle that uh, means that they uh, decide to let me go. Okay. Because you're actually like the Messiah or something. Like yeah. That. Well, Peter have invented a toaster in the Middle Ages. Yeah. No, well, I'm, well, I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm being burnt at the stake. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, da, da, da. My, my, yeah, my one is uh, it's quite simple. Uh, I have a Madden Two Swords waxwork of myself, which <laughs> I craftily place on the fire instead of me. Hence oh, oh right, you, you complain about me inventing the toaster in the Middle Ages and you've got, uh, invented the waxwork. When was Madame Two Uh 18th century, yeah, I believe. Mid- Middle Ages, Middle Ages, whatever. <laughs> wax in general? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, well, anyway, when they're trying to set me on fire, they actually only have um, a matchbox with one match. Yes, it is the Middle Ages, but they do. Pause. And really so nice. the fire doesn't happen, so they don't actually get to set me on fire. And I use my wire coat hanger to craftily um, escape from the bombs that they tied me up and build a time machine to escape with my bucket of Lego pieces. You say Middle Ages, I say Ron Corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, turns out they were right about me, so I used my severed finger on my bucket of pig's blood to summon my demonic milk float, which runs them all over. <laughs> <laughs> and thus I escape. Science. Um, Science. <laughs> Sword. Here's Winnish Rain. Sword. Here's Winners Rain. Hey! hey. Like scores on See, that I think one. you should have won that Andy, to be fair, that round. Yeah, but, you know, it would have ended the don't, game. Don't, don't put it on there, dude. <laughs> that's, the, that's the new... Oh, that's, the, that's, that's the discard pile. We'll leave that over there. Okay, leave that there. Yours was funnier. Yeah, it was. So, uh, okay. delivery. Which is why he's got a big foot. Okay, I, I, have, I have yet to score. <laughs> Just put that out there. Life. Just put... <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Why, why did... Why, why, why? She looked at you. Why no, because I need to make her laugh because I was talking about your dad. Yeah, why did we invite oh, my wife on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your family have the plague. Yay! And your front door has been nailed shut with you inside. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hmm. Family has the prey, foot door nail short with me inside. Sword. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, this is really hard. Um, That's what she said. I wish I had that card with the Gary Glitter PC. <laughs> yeah. I have I have three cards here that I'm gonna use. I only need one for this. <laughs> oh we've all got I don't know. You've all got one and I've got two. I've got three. I'm a guy. No no oh, the, uh, right, yeah. Yes. I, I well I d no, I don't yeah, I know you haven't scored yet. yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, of okay. course. Cool. Hence the previous joke. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, bear with me. Don't worry, it was a pretty forgettable joke. And then Mike broke his fingers. You're a straight dude. In it. I is from the who, West who, who, who does he think he is? Your mum. <laughs> He's at Ali F because he's won less than Ali G. Okay, I'm done. So, uh, we're back round to you. Oh, is it me? Yep. Oh, shit. Um, I was hoping I had a bit longer to think. Anyway, so, because I'm a Blue Peter Badge winner, 
So Ooh. I'm quite good at MacGyvering and sticking things together. Um, I and I actually have my lucky rabbit's paw, so I'm really lucky as well. I put a tweet out to the nation <laughs> for help with solving plague type situations, and luckily enough, hashtag plague save. Yeah, that'll do. Um, <laughs> Who's that dead clever doctor bloke? Just the Christian off the uh, embarrassing bodies. No, not that one. Doctor Who. Stephen Hawking. No, not that one. Queen Medicine Woman. No. Brian, Brian Cox. Yes, that one. <laughs> oh. He's a physicist. Yeah, him. <laughs> Professor Brian Cox, for, former keyboardist with D-Ream. Yes, him. Yeah. Look What's at the stars. Yeah, him. Yes. Oh. So anyway, he tweets... Things can only get better. Oh. He, he oh. tweets me back with how to open... A portal, because he's a physicist. Right, okay. Not Stephen Hawkins. No, because he can't um, tweet. He can. He's, he he, he he's talks computer. using a computer. Uh, yeah. oh, Stephen anyway. Hawkins is, is the milkman. I think you're thinking of Stephen Hawking. Well, whatever. Anyway. He's got Wi-Fi, has he? <laughs> he's a fan. They tw- he tweets me how to make a portal. I make a portal. I escape. Fair enough. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, um... Stephen Hawking, a.k.a. GLaDOS. <laughs> 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 I will help you out and there will be cake. Uh, well, cake uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> luckily, uh, helping you is a lie. Um, yeah, my family, when they, uh, when they contracted um, the, the, the plague, uh, they were in North Korea. And look, I have Kim Jong Un's phone number, so <laughs> he'll let me out. <laughs> Hello, Andy! <laughs> Hello, Kim Jong Un, me, Mr. Freckles of Pippery. <laughs> Mr. Pimples the Freckling Man. man. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> Mr. Freckles the Pimpery Man. Is he his North Korean cousin? <laughs> Mr. Freckles the Pimpery thing. <laughs> Mr. Freckles the Pimp. <laughs> Check out his bitch hand, it was gone. Gong. Okay, so step one, I need to get out, and get the door has been nailed shut. So okay. to, 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 to pry the nails off, I, I utilise the pigtail butt plug that I've got. It's it's pigtail, so it's corkscrew, and it's it's good for. I'm just wondering why you brought that with your family. Pig, pig, <laughs> pig, get, get stuff out. Um, while I do that, my family are obviously trying to stop me getting away from their plague-addled bodies. So uh, I will be not zombies. <laughs> Who says what kind of plague it is? I, uh, yeah. That's a fair point. So, it's uh, the plague. so I will beat them away. It doesn't say bubonic. <laughs> With uh, the club-footed street pigeon that I've got. <laughs> Eat this pigeon! <laughs> Once I escape, however, the um, uh, the authorities will want to try and put me straight back in there uh, with the rest of my family. So I'll just prove to them they're not my family, I'm adopted with the adoption Oops, papers sorry. that I've got. Oh, what if do? No. I'll have, uh, one more. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> So, you're like, she is my wife, I was adopted, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that works. Well, first of all, oh, I'm, tra- I'm trapped in my house, so I'm going to ward off my family using a pair of marigolds so I can hold my pooey toilet brush to wait, ward them off. And as the time passes, I will keep track of it using my Cliff Richard calendar until I'm safely saved. And just like Paul, I don't want them to know that I'm part of this family, so I will use a stolen passport to assume someone else's identity. <laughs> Right, okay. See, that one makes sense. It's the <laughs> same. Andy's. Oh, Andy! Andy yeah. Hey, that's, that's, that's three to Andy. Hooray! And that makes Andy the winner of this game. Of Bucket of Doom. Yeah. Mm. Um, and this is a 22 minute episode, so we can stop and play another game of something and tap that on the end of this. Hold it right there, Pastor Mike. No, 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 no. This episode will not be continuing because it is the festive season. And what do we like to do here at the 50 Foot Nerds? Why, that's right. We like to give you Christmas presents. So, the next time you hear the 50 Foot Nerds will be on Christmas Day when we drop our Nerdmas special. The next day on Boxing Day, you will get from us our terrible movie commentary that you the viewers, the viewers? No, you're the listeners. The listeners selected for us, and my god, you picked a bad one this year. I honestly don't know how Andy and I are going to make it all the way through. We might kill ourselves this time. And then over the rest of the festive period, we have not one, not two, but three more gaming episodes to release for you, recorded over my birthday weekend back in June. So we hope you'll join us all for those, and of course, 
If you want to get in touch with us, you're more than welcome to do so. Catch us on Twitter at 50 Foot Nerds. That's F I F T Y F O O T N E R D S. Email us 50 Foot Nerds at gmail.com. Spelled the same way. Catch us on Twitter. I'm at Mike G Bell. Andy is at Vaults of Exoth. And Paul is at Auton Scouser. Uh, the rest of the stuff you know a million times. Facebook, YouTube, we've got all that. Just search us and you will find us. On YouTube, you'll find a couple of festive delights. If you go to video.50footnerds.co.uk, you'll catch them there. Okay, until next time then, we've been playing Bucket of Doom. You've been listening, so geek out. He's a secret agent in the face of death he laughs because he solves any problem with the use of arts and crafts. He can kill you dead without a single gun or bullet. It's like Mr. Wizard hit the gym and grew a mullet. He makes chicks cry, you too. Come on, don't lie. He's the master of the cherry rig. That's a fact. He's like Beekman and Bill Nye on crack. Makes his clothes. Cuts his own hair, shaves his balls with plastic silverware. If you're trapped, have no doubt, give MacGyver a shout. If there's any way out, he'll know. He watches, he saves your life with a Swiss Army knife. How do you do that? This is the MacGyver show. ch 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 chip and I mean, MacGyver, sorry. It sounds a lot like Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Anyway, he escapes evil troops. With disguises made of his own poops Yes, he does Because he's MacGyver This is MacGyver This is the MacGyver Show If you've enjoyed the nerddom in your ears Then please follow us on Twitter at At 50 Foot Nerds or email us anything except spam at 50footnerds at gmail.com.